our uh, store manager at the 72nd Street store. Um, she gave me a call and said that she had uh, a very unique person as far as treasure hunters were concerned. And she's got probably 5,000 items collected over a 50 year period. It became apparent very quickly that we may have uh, the top uh, thrift store treasure hunter in the United States. So we're putting her in for a Guinness Book of World Record. Never leave anything on the shelf that you think you might want later because it's going to be gone. I learned that the hard way. You always bring a tape measure, cloth or metal. Uh, I like to bring batteries because a lot of times you'll see something which requires and they don't always have batteries available to buy. I'm not searching for any one thing, it's for anything. But you want to be prepared in case something comes up. She has assembled an amazing collection over the span of 30 years of shopping that when you look at it, she has this ability to say, this will go with that. That will go over here with something else. She's repurposed items. She has taken items that she's purchased 10 years apart and created an assemblage that makes sense. I paid $17.99 for this. Everything here is under $125 total if you count this tea cart. This Bible I had found inside of one of the, like, just a sample box that they would have there. And instead of going through all the stuff, I brought it home. And it's a very, it's one of the smallest Bibles I've ever seen. Even the prints are from Goodwill. This one is, they're so reasonable, I can change them often and get a different view every time. Well, at first it's like, it's a necessity when you're very young. Kids changing often. And then pretty soon it gets to be, instead of the kids, it's for you and who you can share it with. And then I got to where I love the hunt. Treasure hunting. Oh yes, very much so. I love, you never know where the next treasure is coming from.